so back to back to what I was talking about. Um, come on, bitch. All right. Jesus Christ. I figured something out. I have really, really horrible, horrible road rage. Don't back into my shit. Anywho, I don't even know why I'm doing this video. Because I'm using all kind of profanity. My channel is my channel. I'm going to do what I want to do on my channel. I, I don't... My friend, she told me, she was like, girl, you need to be on your YouTube channel a little more. Because you be having stuff to say. Half of the time, I don't. I think she just like how crazy I am. I think that's it. Anywho, like I was saying, I've been going through some things. Um, Michigan State, for one, I have this hold on my account. It's an $846 hold on my account. I cannot receive my diploma in my hand until I pay this 846 now that's a problem you want to know why it's a problem because most of the careers that I'm applying for I know I can get if I can get my diploma in my hands because they're asking for you know copies of that sort of thing I even went as to even going as far as to ask the state to copy it if they can copy it and you know email it to me they said mm -mm. nope Bitch, you owe us $846. We can put you on a monthly plan. On top of the other loans that I have to pay. By the way. And I'm not even going to get into. Because that's one thing I don't like doing. I don't like people getting into my numbers. I never share like my grade point average. Or how much I make now. Or you know. I never get into that kind of stuff. Because I feel like that's too personal. That's none of y'all business. Like unless... Oh, I'm going too slow for you, sir. I'm sorry. Um, unless I'm, unless you're contributing, then that's the only time I'm going to share those kind of numbers with you. Other than that, no. You're not my tutor. You're not my counselor. You're not going to pay me. I don't need to share any of that stuff with you. Anyways, long story short, I cannot apply for big girl jobs until I give state the money that they claim that I owe, which I do. I know why I owe the money, so I'm not going to fight them for it. But the simple. Okay, yellow bus. I didn't stop like that. I don't need y'all. I need you to pay attention. My car a little low. Watch it. Let me move up a little bit. Because he felt like I ain't like that. Stop. Anyway, so that's one thing I'm going through. On top of having to pay, you know, rent as I should up hand, which is not a lot. The rent that I owe is about $350 a month. And that's not bad. Um, I'm working two jobs. They're not two extraordinary jobs. But the fact is I have two um, sources of income that I'm, I'm doing right now. And so, you know, I guess I'm feeling the pressures financially. I was one of those college kids that basically I, I had it made. My mother was still paying my phone bills sometimes, you know, and she used to send money or whatever if I needed it. Um, you know, that sort of thing. But now she's like, you know what, you too damn old. You're way too damn old. And like I said, like I haven't been completely dependent on my mother. She would periodically, you know, from time to time, she used to give me stuff, you know, and I used to take advantage of that. It's not like that no more. So I'm going through real life situations right now. On top of all the extra extracurricular shit. Such as my car being vandalized. Yes. A bitch's fucking used vehicle is being vandalized. I guess it don't matter if it's used or new. I don't know what I did to these folks. But somebody keep writing derogatory names on my on the hood of my car in frost and rain. The most recent incident that they did was string my car. They used like party string and they stringed my whole entire car. I don't know what the fuck I did to these people, um, whoever it is. But that's the extra shit that I'm having to deal with on top of Sprint and all this other. Please, sir. It's green. Why would you walk? The hand is red. I know it is. On top of having to deal with all this extracurricular shit. 
you know it's just a whole bunch of shit i don't have time for you know what i'm saying and right now honestly like i'm i'm one of those people where okay when it happens when it's so much going on i like to go into my turtle shell i like to go into my hiatus i don't like doing a lot of things around people because I like to think about a plan. I'm the type of person if something happens it needs to get fixed. It needs to get fixed ASAP. I'm not one of them people who's going to sit and wait. I pay my bills on time when it's time for them to be paid. My poor little car is going through it. I need to not push her so much. Sun rose. I know. I know. Um... But that's the type of person that I am. So I've devised a plan. I'm speaking to some career advisors um, up here in Michigan State because I do want to go to grad school uh, for sociology. I want to get my master's in sociology, urban um, development, because that's basically what I'm using my criminal justice um, degree for, um, for social work, that kind of thing. And I definitely want to work in like, you know, inner city populations. I want to do some youth counseling if I can. You know, that sort of thing. Juvenile delinquency, you know, be a caseworker. And that sort of thing. So, I looked into MSU and they have a program specifically, you know, for that kind of thing. So, I emailed my advisor and I let her know, you know, what I wanted to do. And, you know, I'm setting a meeting up for that. far as Michigan State having to pay this money. I'm going to pay them in. My mother, God bless her, she's trying everything she can. She got a new job now where she's going to be making a thousand dollars a week. I said, Well, you go ahead, Sharon Johnson, do what you do. <laughs> I'm proud of her with that. So she said, Well, baby, I'm going to help you out, and you don't got to do this, and you don't got to do that. And, da, 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 da. and I'm like, Cool, we could work on this together because everything else I'm taking care of on my own. I'm paying my own rent, paying my own bills. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking care of myself. I'm doing all this shit solo dolo. So I'm actually quite proud of myself. You know, if I wasn't doing this stuff at the age that I am, then that would have been quite a disappointment for me in my life. Now that I look at it, I ought to be proud of myself for being a responsible adult. That's what I am. It's just that circumstances tend to make it difficult for me to live a little bit comfortably. All I got to do is grind a little harder. That's all that is. So anywho... I'm about to go up in here in Myers and um because I'm starving like Marvin. Um I'm gonna fry me some tilapia, do a salad, and maybe some dinner rolls. But I don't think I have any lettuce, so that's why I'm here. I'm getting me some lettuce, I'm getting me some juice, and I'm probably gonna go down to make a bow. <laughs> Just because I'm like a nail addict, y'all. Like, ugh, so disgusting. I don't I don't go and get my nails done, I do my own nails. That's because one, I ain't gonna lie, a bitch is not boiling like that. I would buy the best hair. I would do that, but when it comes to like stuff like nails and stuff that I know that I could do by myself, I'm going to do them. You know, every now and then I may splurge and go to, you know, get a spa treatment or something like that. But if it's some stuff that I know I could do for myself, I'm gonna do it. Anywho, on that note, because I'm just rambling. Um, like I said, I'm trying something new with this YouTube thing. Um, yeah, I'm just going to start blogging and just talking into whoever whoever's going to listen or whoever going through similar situations or whatever. If we can help each other out, that's fine too. You know, I'm all for it. Um, I may come off a little ratchet. I may come off whatever. People may take offense, but this is me. It says me. And this is how it's going to be. For now on, on Miss Candy Joe's channel. Okay? Okay. Anywho, I'm going to holler at y'all later. Let me go ahead and take care of this business because this. It looks. Oh, shoot. It looks like it's really sunny out, but it has like these clouds over as if it's going to rain again. And I ain't got time for that. Okay. Okay. Peace.